Hey guys, Nathan back with another video. Today, share with you how to switch faces in a photo. We're going to be using Photoscape X as uh, the software today. This is a free photo editing software, but the same kind of uh, technique could be used for Photoshop or any other software that involves uh, being able to select and cut out a subject, being able to transfer it back, and I'm sure there's going to be some different things involved as well. So let's begin. So we're going to go to the cutout tool. And in the cutout tool, you're able to go and select just who you want in here. So to begin, we're going to, let's say, select over here to Stefan's face. And there is the magic eraser, the lasso tool, the brush tool. But basically, it groups uh, certain colors, and it helps to erase those colors. So uh, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go to the brush. And I'm just going to, just with a huge swath, erase everything except for... Stefan's head and I'm going to erase everything else in the image I can make this brush size super big so I can just erase all this real quick and then we're going to get in and make sure we get just his face and I think we're going to do Timothy and Stefan's face for today uh, magic eraser clicking on the brown clicking on the green clicking on all that good stuff and we are going to remove his shirt as well uh, now it took out some of his chin you can either undo or you can go to like the brush tool and hit restore you can restore back that part that was taken out uh, so I'm going to use the brush tool and just continue to erase just around his face and this is the same process that would be used for um, removing any object it's not just faces it's not just to switch things it's to remove anything that you want to maybe put back in um, something else or to move it to a different spot alright so we have Stefan's face and that's completed so I'm going to hit save and I'm just going to save it to desktop and we're going to have that taken care of. Uh, so that's all saved. We're going to go hit revert and we're going to go back all the way. And we're going to now uh, take Timothy's head and we're going to remove everything except for his head. And we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> have these two done I didn't like spend forever doing them but they're completed hit save as uh, this will be the second image all right so let's see how this works we're gonna go back into the editor and we're going to now go to insert hit image and we're going to go and select we're gonna select Stefan's face first all right so you have Stefan's face um, I left some of his tie some of his um, shirt in here so that might make it a little bit more challenging also he is looking you know the wrong direction so what we can do is you can click into here hit rotate we can flip it horizontally so potentially that could work now it's saying okay I want to make sure the size is exactly scale to 100 because it's being taken from the same image this is the same size as what Stefan looks like on the other side uh, here's what we can do we can go to this spot healing tool so you go to tools go to spot healing and we're going to remove his face um, and you know this is not going to look you know ultra professional or anything but what it's going to do and this is great for removing just small objects or different things but what this does is it helps to mask uh, and take away the person's face now we're not looking for perfection because all we want is enough room so we're able to move Stefan's over it so if we had to shrink things or we had to move things, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Now, the question is, do I keep his shirt or do I not keep his shirt? I think I need to take his shirt away. Um, just to be plainly honest, I think that's going to be a real challenge to keep his shirt in the image. So I'm going to go back to the cutout, going to go down to here, and I'm going to remove his shirt from the image. <laughs> Number four. Okay, now back to editor. 
we're going to hit image we're going to hit his face with cutout 4 we're going to make sure the scale is to scale 100 we're going to rotate his face we're going to drop it in um, and we're going to see what does that look like does it look really big <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that looks good actually. Uh, we'll match up the skin tones and stuff in a little bit. But let's go over here and do the other one. Uh, we're going to do the spot healing again just because I think the size of their heads are different enough that it's going to be an issue if I don't take them out to begin with. Alright, alright, that looks good. And I will use a smaller brush and maybe get rid of some of these weird lines and weird stuff but you know what are you supposed to do um so we're gonna go to insert again we're gonna go to images we're going to click on timothy's face we're going to flip it horizontally and it's just challenging how it, how it works let's go back to cutout we're gonna go to cutout real quick and we're gonna do a little bit more justice over here uh we're going to not that much. We're going to remove a bit more of that neck and we're going to do this cutout number five. So you can definitely see how this process can get tedious and time consuming and you know diminishing returns and things like that but it's a fun thing to learn because then you can make some interesting kind of cool changes later. And just because you had to rescale something a little bit doesn't mean it's going to look complete terrible either. Okay. How will we go with that? We'll go with that. Um, yeah. So we'll go with that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit save as. And we're actually going to save it just straight out. Um, the reason why is because I feel that in many cases um, it's going to be a lot easier just to save out. I know, you know, saving out, going back in, saving out, going back in might not be the best, you know, idea if you're doing that a ton or if you're doing this for like a professional project or something. But when you do hit the save, then it uh, pastes everything in. So then you're able to go and make those different edits and changes. We'll begin with Stefan because his isn't going to be that crazy. So all we have here is a little bit of blue that needs to be changed around his neck and the shading just needs to be cleaned up a bit. So, let's begin. Uh, soften skin. Let's see if there is a way to, if the soften skin tool will also help make the line not as prevalent. I think that is, I think that works pretty well. Uh, let's go back though. Let's see if there's anything else I can do here. Because there is, of course, the adjust color tool and we can go to darken and we can go s click around his neck and we can see if we can darken that just enough. The harness is really hard here. So we're going to go right around this line and we're going to try to make his... I'm going to add that, I'm going to take that away, you know, trying to make it so... Nope. Alright, I'm going to do a little more subtraction here. Just trying to make it so it doesn't look totally way different in the colors. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Um, and then as far as painting the blue, basically what you would do is you'd go into here, you'd hit the draw tool, we're going to go to color picker and we're going to pick the color of the shirt and then basically we're just going to paint that color on. I'm sure there's better ways to do it and stuff, but at such a far away picture, you're not going to be able to see the difference. So then over here, this one might be a bit more challenging as well. You know, how do you make it, you know, the colors match and things like that? You know, well, I can use some different type of brushes here, and I could go and try to find a happy in between. Because I could go into here and I could say, okay, I'm going to then hit OK off this. I'm going to brush this in. 
the problem is it's going to end up being it kind of works because it kind of works like an airbrush type thing of course you have to remember you are losing detail and actually hmm very nice okay so I use some different tools. I use the airbrush tool. Well, I use the draw tool. I use the clone stamp tool. I use the skin clear tool. I use the course the cutout tool was our main help helper in this. But basically, we're gonna put the two photos side by side and see what they look like. You have this one where it's Timothy on one side and you got Stefan on the other. This one you have Timothy on this side and you have Stefan on the other. You know, honestly, it almost looks interchangeable. And it's really interesting to think about. Now, uh, just variables. Like if I were to remove my brother, where you have his hair, uh, his beard, that might be a bit harder. But it would be something where you'd have to keep more of the shirt and you'd have to try to make that fit. Nonetheless, you guys, uh, this has been how to switch faces of people in a photo I'm very thankful that Photoscape X is a free photo editing software that works great for this uh, type of project. And you can do the same thing in Photoshop, and I'll probably make a video showing the comparison of those things. But you're looking at a free software versus a paid software, and the results are very convincing. I think that if I were to post this, most people wouldn't tell and not notice this at all, any difference or change. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.